so pray for her. Uh, she, uh, uh, there's a possibility, um, and we're praying that she doesn't. Uh, but uh, the doctor did tell her uh, you need to go get checked out. She could have colon cancer, so uh, so y'all pray about that and uh, just keep her in your prayer. And uh, I think that would be a blessing. Uh, we're praying that uh, it's just a pilot, and uh, she's had those before. And we're just praying that it isn't cancerous. Amen? Amen. And uh, so uh, y'all pray for us in the ministry of Swain. We're just, uh, we believe God sent us there to do the ministry, the work of the ministry. Amen? Amen. And uh, just do the, do the work of the ministry and just, uh, we want to see people saved. Amen. And uh, we want to see uh, people restored. Amen. And we want to see families back restored also. So, uh, so that's one of my visions of the church. And uh, we're glad to be here. Amen. And uh, Brother Joseph, of course, I've known Brother Joseph for a while now. Matter of fact, I met Brother Joseph uh, when we were, uh, we went to a, uh, uh, matter of fact, I, I don't think it was the church planners meeting in Heartland uh, in, in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I think it was for pastors and uh, things like that. But I remember sitting right beside Brother Joseph and I uh, just really, uh, just really enjoyed his uh, sweet spirit, and uh, Brother Joseph got a sweet spirit about him, and uh, we became friends just like that. So, uh, so what a blessing it is! And uh, so, but thank you so much for uh, being here tonight. Thank you so much for uh, letting me be here. Amen. Amen. And uh, so, take your Bibles, and we're going to be in the Book of Hebrews, Hebrews, and uh, Hebrews chapter number four. Lord, just put this in my heart. I'll preach on Hebrews chapter number four. We're going to look at one verse uh, tonight. I'll try to be as quick as I can. And uh, but Hebrews chapter number four. We're going to look at verse number twelve. I I thought about uh, what we were singing, and uh, in times like these, we do need the Word of God. Amen. Yes. And uh, we need the Word of God as uh, much as we can. I, I tell you. Just not in these times, but every day of our life, we just need to be in the Word of God and have the Lord uh, just speak to us and things like that. But God just put this on my heart uh, to preach. So let me give you my title very quickly. And the title of the message is this, The Work of the Word. And the Work of the Word. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter number 4, beginning verse 12, the Bible says, For the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, of the joints and marrow, and as a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Let's go to the, word, let's go to the Lord in prayer and ask God to help us tonight. Father, we sure do love you tonight. And Father God, I pray that you just help us and guide and direct us tonight. Father God, I pray that you be with me as I preach the Word of God. And uh, Lord, I can't do, I can't preach without you. I can't do this without you. And Lord, I'm asking that you just help me. Lord, these are your people, not my people. Father God, I pray that you just give me the power and the liberty that I need to preach the Word of God. I pray that our hearts would be receptive to your Word tonight. Lord, speak to our hearts. Holy Spirit, we need you tonight. In Christ's name, Amen. amen. You know, as I look at this passage of Scripture, of course, I, I love this passage of Scripture because it talks about the Word of God and how the Word of God says, for the Word of God is quick. Well, that's powerful, isn't it? It's powerful that the Word of God is quick. God's Word, may I say tonight, is like, you know, to like a surgically sharp knife, if you could say. The word sword here is more in the sense of a large knife used for cutting up meat or for surgery than a long sword. Now I want you to understand this, that the emphasis is not upon the length of the blade, ladies and gentlemen, but you need to understand tonight that the Word of God, and as we look at this passage of Scripture, it's not, it's not talking about the length of the blade, but it's talking about, but upon the sharpness thereof. Amen? Amen. Listen, I, I'm here to tell you tonight that the Word of God is sharp. That's what the Bible says. The Word of God is sharp. 
I don't know about you, but I love a good, a good sharp knife. Amen? Amen? There's nothing like a good sharp knife. And uh, when cutting up, may I say this? Deer meat. Yes. I'm a big, I'm a big deer hunter. Uh, I love to deer hunt, love to turkey hunt. But there's nothing like a good sharp knife. Yeah. You ever try to cut a deer up with a dull knife? Well, it's not fun. Amen? Amen. You just sit there and just chop it up. But there's nothing like a good, sharp knife. Now, I'm getting somewhere tonight. The Bible says that for the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here to tell you that the Word of God is so sharp that it cuts into our hearts. Amen? Yeah. Amen. I, I'm here to tell you that we have a book that can speak to us. Amen. Yes. Amen. We have a book that can speak to us tonight. We have a book that, listen, if you'll just pick it up and if you'll just read it, that God can change your life tonight. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yeah. He can, he can do that. Why, why is that? It's because this book is powerful. Yes. This book is sharper than a two-edged sword. Listen, it's quick. What does that word quick mean? That word quick, ladies and gentlemen, means this. It's alive. Yeah. Did you know that, ladies and gentlemen, as we read the Word of God, as we have the Word of God in our hands tonight, that we serve a living God? Right. Amen. Amen. Now, I, don't, I don't know about you, but I'm here to tell you that God is real and God's alive. Amen? Yes, Amen. And so is the Word of God. This Word of God is alive. This is how God speaks to our hearts. I don't know about you, but when I pick this up, I pick it up and I start to read it and God just starts to speak to me. Yes, sir. Yeah. And as He starts to speak to me, how, how, how is that? It's because it's quick. It's because it's alive. It's because it's the Word of God. <laughs> I love a good sharp knife, and like I said, there's nothing worse than a dull one. But watch this, it's quick, it's living, it is also powerful, the Bible says. The Bible says that the Bible is powerful. Did you know that this Word of God is so powerful that whenever you ask for salvation... Amen? Amen. You see, this, this Word of God right here will teach you how to be saved. Yeah. The Bible says, hey, watch this. The Bible says that, listen, the Bible says this. It says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Amen. This Bible right here will tell you you're a sinner. The Word of God says, listen, there's none righteous, no, not one. Right. We're not perfect. Why? Because it's powerful, it's alive, it's effective. Can I tell you this tonight, that the Word of God is effective? Can I, can I say this? As I read the Word of God, and as I started to study the Word of God, that it's effective in my life? Yes, yeah. Sir. May I say this? It's so effective in my life, ladies and gentlemen, that when I'm going through trials, when I'm going through tribulations, I just need to pick up the Word of God and He'll start to speak to me. Yeah. Lord, I'm going through this tonight. Lord, I'm going through this. Uh, what do I need to do? And He just starts to speak to me. Amen. Aren't you glad that God just speaks to us? And yes. hey, listen, I, I don't know what you're going through or, 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 or what you're going through in your life, but I'm here to tell you that God is on the throne. Yeah. Yes, sir. He's on the throne, ladies and gentlemen. He's on the throne, and guess what? If you're a child of God tonight, He says, I will take care of you. That's effective. That's powerful. Amen? Amen. I, I don't know about Listen, I just want to try to be an encouragement tonight. I want to be an encouragement and say, hey, listen, this book can do a work in your life. That's right. It. it can do a work in your life if you let it. Right. If you let it. Right. May I say this, that... Listen, uh, there's so many times that we ask God for things and say, Dear God, we're going through this or we're going through that or we need this situation to have... Uh, can you just take control? But let me ask you a question. Do you really want God to take control? And that's the question. It's quick. It's living. It's powerful. The sense of the latter word has the idea of being effective. 
The Word of God can be effective. God's Word has the surgical sharpness to watch this pierce. Did you know when you read the Word of God, it can pierce your heart? Yeah. If you let it. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter number 12, again, watch this, piercing, watch this, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. And of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Now I say this, that the Bible presumes the three-part division of the human existence. Did you know that? Of body, soul, and spirit. God's Word, uh, listen, as, as a razor sharp and is ineffective, can pierce deeper than our mind and into the heart. Did you know that the Word of God can... Just not go to here, but if you let it, it can go to here. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Listen, it goes beyond the mind, the Bible says. Listen, it says piercing to the asunder. Watch this. Not just here, but it can go right here. Yeah. It pierces. If you let it, it can pierce your heart. It can speak to your heart. Let me ask you a question. Whenever you read the Bible, do you let, do you let the Word of God pierce to the heart? Do you let God speak to your heart? Do you let Him do the work that He needs to do in your life? That's a great question. You know, when I read the Word of God, I said, Lord, I just want You to, I want you to speak to me. Amen. Lord, if there's anything in my life that I need to change, I want You to show me. Didn't even King David say, hey, listen, uh, uh, show me the things that I, I need to be shown? The sins. It presumes it goes to the sharper than it's effective. It pierces deeper than the mind and to our heart. The Bible pierces directly to the human heart. That's our spirit. Just as the surgeon's knife goes into the marrow, our body, watch this, is quite visible, right? This is a, this is a visible body. Uh, my leg is visible. You can see my leg. You can see my arm. You can see my bald head. Amen. Amen. You can see those things. But however, within the legs or, or, or this body is the bone which is not visible. Even as our mind is not physically visible, however, even deeper still is the marrow even as our spirit. You ever thought about that? Look at the passage of Scripture. The Bible says, For the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and what? Marrow. What's in the bone? Marrow. Marrow. It says the Word of God is so powerful that it pierces that deep. Wow. Wow. That's pretty powerful, isn't it? Did you know that we have a book that is so powerful that it'll change your life? That's right. This book will change your life. Uh, listen, uh, this book is just not a book. Right. right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Uh, uh, listen, uh, th this book is just not something that was written. Listen, this is the very Word of God. Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. I'm here to tell you, since it's the very Word of God, ladies and gentlemen, it can pierce your heart and it will change your life. Not just going through trials and tribulations, ladies and gentlemen, but may I say that this has every answer that you need. That's right. Let me ask you a question. I don't want you to say it out loud. Have marriage problems tonight? Get in the book. Yes, sir. Amen? Amen. Because I'm here to tell you, this book, the Word of God, can help you in your marriage. That's right. Right? Yes. It can. Having children problems tonight? Get in the book. Amen. Amen. Huh? 
Uh, I, I don't know what kind of problems you're having. You might not be having any problems, but anything in your life that you need to know, just pick up the book. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Yeah. Just pick up the book. Why? Because the book has every single answer that you need. Yes, yeah. Sir. Why? Because the Bible says that it's quick. It's living. It's effective. Yeah. Aren't you glad that we have the Word of God tonight? Amen. 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 Yes, sir. I'm glad I have the Word of God. I'm glad that I can still hold it in my hand. I'm still glad that I can still read it. I'm still glad that I have it. Because it pierces. The Bible is the most powerful book ever written. Amen. Yes, sir. It is the very voice of God. For us to hear the very words of God for us to, watch this, you ready? To learn. Yeah. You know, when we pick up the Bible, we should want to have that desire to learn right. about what God wants us to know. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter number 3, beginning verse 16, all scripture is given by inspiration of God. We all know that passage of scripture. And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. All Scripture, the Bible says, is given by inspiration of God. What does that mean? God, it's God breathed. God breathed. Amen? Amen? Inspiration of God. Listen, He said it, and they wrote it down. Right. Amen? Amen? That's what happened. Listen, we're, listen. We're not, we're not just looking at uh, words that people said. We're looking at words that God said. That's right. Why? Because the Bible says all Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is what? Profitable. Did you know that the book is profitable? Listen, it's profitable for anything and everything. Let me ask you a question. I don't know about you, but if you own a business, you want your business to be profitable. Right. Because if it's not profitable, it's no good. Right. Amen? Amen? The Bible says all Scripture is given by inspiration of God. It, watch this. And is profitable. God says, hey, listen. Every word that I have given you will be profitable in your life. Amen. Amen. If you're going through this, if you're going through that, if you need to know about this, if you need to know about this, what? It's profitable. You know why? Because God said so. Right. right. Man, I don't know about you, but that excites me. Amen. I get kind of excited. I'm being real careful. But I get excited. You know why? Because God is good. Amen. Yes. God is good. And God's given us the Word. And it's profitable for doctrine. You know what that word doctrine means? Teaching. Yeah. That word doctrine, hey listen, it's profitable for teaching. It's profitable for the teaching of whatever God wants us to learn about. Right? Amen? Hey, watch this. You know, it's, how about the doctrine? Watch this. You ready? How about eternal security? Amen. Amen. I don't know about you, but I believe in it. You know why? Because the Bible teaches it. Amen. 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 Uh, listen, I, I, I serve a God that cannot lie. Right. Amen. Amen. Hey, listen, he said he'd give me eternal life. He says he's going to give me eternal life. Yep. I have a God that don't lie. I believe in eternal security. Wow, what a blessing. Right. I believe that the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. I believe that we're all sinners tonight. Amen. Amen. I believe also the Bible says this, for the wages of sin is death. Amen. Are you seeing what I'm saying? What's that talking about? It's not talking about your physical death. It's talking about your spiritual death. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Let me ask you a question tonight. If you died right now, are you 100% sure you go to heaven? Right. Wow. Because the Bible says for the wages of sin is death. Guess what? 
Hell is just as real as heaven is. Right. Somebody say amen. Uh, listen, the devil is just as real as God is. Right. You know why I know that? It's because that's what the Bible says. Yes. Listen, you know why I got saved November 16, 2001? Because I knew that I needed a Savior and I knew that I was on my way to hell. And I knew that the Bible says to repent and be saved. Yeah. Amen? Amen? That's what it says. Yeah. Why? Because it's profitable. It's profitable for salvation. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Listen, hey, if you're not saved tonight, I, I encourage you to get saved. Yeah. Amen. Why? Because you don't want to go to the lake of fire. No. It's no fun. It's not going to be any fun. I don't know about you, but when I die, I'm going to be in heaven. Amen. You said, you say, well, now, are you sure you can know that? Well, sure you can, because the Bible says that these things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life. Amen? Amen? Hey, listen, we can know that we can have eternal life. And if you don't know, and if you're uh, maybe uh, 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 worrying about that, well, get it settled. Right. And get saved. Get saved. Bible's profitable for salvation. Hey, you know what? You know what else is profitable for? Hey, listen, you you can't you you can't work your way to heaven. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Bible says not by works of righteousness which we have done, but by His mercy, He saves us. Bible says for the uh, for by grace are you saved through what? Faith. Watch this. You ready? And that not of ourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Yeah, right. Isn't that what the Bible says? Yes, sir. So what does the Bible say about salvation? It says, hey, listen, you need to put your faith and trust in Jesus. Right. Amen. Amen. Why? Because it's profitable yes. for doctrine. It's profitable for salvation. Right? right. Listen, there's not going to be any boasting in heaven. Uh, listen, I, I, I'm not going to be uh, going up to Brother Joseph and go, Brother Joseph, let me tell you something. Let me tell you what I did to get here. Yeah, well, you didn't do nothing to get here. Right. Why? Because I'm an old sinner. Watch this. Saved by the grace of God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 No boasting in heaven. It's, hey, it's, listen, it's not what you did, but it's what He did on the cross of Calvary. Amen. That's why we can go to heaven. You know why I knew that Jesus Christ died on the cross and was buried and rose the third day? Because the Bible says so. Right. I just want to preach on the Bible tonight. Is that okay? Amen. It's profitable. It's profitable for salvation. Amen? Man, that ought to get you excited. Yeah. It ought to get you excited that, hey, listen, you have a Bible in your hand. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. 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 Man, it's profitable. Oh, but let me say this. It's profitable for doctrine. Watch this. It's profitable for doctrine what is right. Right? Yes. For reproof what is not right. Yeah. Uh, let, let me say this. That, listen, the Word of God will, will tell you when you're doing wrong. Right. Yeah. Amen. Well, 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 it says it right here. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God is profitable for doctrine. Watch this. It's always and it's also profitable for reproof. It's profitable for what? Watch this. What is not right? Yeah. Uh, God will tell you what you're doing wrong in your life. Yes, He will. If you just listen to Him. Are you listening? If you'll just listen to Him and get it right, it'll be profitable for you. That's right. Amen? Amen. 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 <laughs> hey, hey, listen. Uh, God, if I have anything that's wrong in my life, if, if I'm doing something that I'm not supposed to be doing, listen, I want to be corrected. Right, sir. 
Why? Because I want to be right with God. Amen. Yeah. Don't you want to be right with God? Yeah. I don't know about you, but I do. I want to be right with Him. Yeah. But sometimes we don't let God work in our life. Listen, we, we know that uh, some things that uh, we, we might not not be doing is right. And he's trying to, listen, let the Word of God work in your life. But let me ask you a question. Are you letting Him do it? Are you letting the Word of God be profitable for reproof? What is not right? Now watch this one. For correction... Right. How to get right. Did you know that the Word of God will teach you and, and show you how to get right? Why? Because it's profitable for that. Yeah. It's, good. it's how to get right. And for instruction in righteousness. Are you ready? That's how to stay right. Yeah. Lord, how do I stay right with you? It'll Ooh. tell you. Yeah. Why? Because it's profitable. Yep. Hey, hey, watch this. We have a book. We have the Word of God that is profitable. You know what that means? It's worth something. Right. <laughs> it means it's working. Amen? Amen? Did you know that businesses that don't make profit go out of business? Right. But I'm here to tell you, we have a God that is profitable. And watch this. And is still saving souls today. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Why? Because the Word of God is profitable. Yeah. Man, got sin in your life tonight? Why don't you let the Word of God be profitable in your life? Why don't you let the Word of God speak to your heart? Amen. And be profitable for you. It'll tell you how to stay right with Him. A Christian who studies the Bible and applies what he learns will grow in holiness and avoid many pitfalls in this world. That's right. That's right. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Hey, you listen. Uh, you want to stay out of the pitfalls? Stay in the Word. Amen. Stay in the Word. That's what we have to do. We have to stay in the Word of God. Unlike other, all other books authored by humans, the Bible that's authored by God is an active being. It does things. I don't know about you, but it's done things in my life. Yes, sir. It accomplishes certain purposes that God has, watch this, directed. God, what's the will of God in my life? You know how I've gotten answers? Through the Word. Through the Word of God. Yes, sir. Word, uh, Lord, what do I do here? And He always seems to always answer. Yeah. Through His Word. Right. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. It's good stuff. Man. Ask you a question. You need some answers tonight? Get in the book. Just get in the word. Why? Because it's sharper than any two edged sword. Hey, listen. And it's a discerner. What's discernment? Lord, should I should I be doing this? I tell you what, the word of God will tell you if you need to do it. Amen? Why? Because it's a discerner. You know, hey, listen, it'll discern if uh, uh, from good and bad. That's most of the time when I make my decisions. I'm like, Lord, what, what do I need to do? Is that a good idea? I get in the Word of God and He just speaks to me. Discernment. Yes, sir. Discernment. Listen, listen, if you're walking with God, God will give you discernment. Do I need to be doing this or do I need I mean... Like I said, we're born again by the Word. We're born again by the Word. Doesn't the Bible say you must be born again? Yes, sir. 
Hey, John chapter number 3. It's when Jesus was talking to Nicodemus. Amen? Yes, sir. I, we're talking about a religious leader. That kind of tells you something, doesn't it? Watch this. I forgot to say this too. Your religion doesn't get you to heaven. It's only through Jesus Christ's blood we can get to heaven. We're born again through the Word of God. James chapter number 1, beginning verse 18, of His own will begat He us with the Word of truth. That we should be a kind and fruitful, watch this, first fruits of His cre cre creatures. Excuse me, creatures. The Word of God is the birthing agent in salvation. You know how I learned how to be saved? The book. Right. So that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. 1 Peter chapter number 1, begin verse 23. I'm almost done. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible. Can I say this? This book is incorruptible. It has no corruption to it whatsoever. Why? Because it's the Word of God. Amen. Why? Because the Bible says in 1 Peter 1.23, that's what it says. It says, being born again, watch this, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the Word of God, Amen. which liveth and abideth forever. This book is living forever. Amen? Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Did you know that we are cleansed by the Word? The Bible says in Psalm chapter 119, ver, uh, beginning verse 9, the Bible says, <clears throat> Where was, uh, excuse me, wherewithal shall a young man, watch this, cleanse his way by taking heed thereunto according to thy what? Thy word. word. Right. <clears throat> We're cleansed by the Word. Why? Because it's profitable. By taking heed means to keep or to obey. Reading, hearing, and obeying the Word leads to a daily, you ready? Confession of sin. Or it should. Yes. Obedience to the Word of God will without fail cleanse our life. Wow. And thirdly tonight, very quickly, we are matured by the Word of God. Right. We're matured. The Bible says in Jeremiah 15, 16, the Bible says, Thy words were found, and I did eat them. And Thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of mine heart. Watch this. For I am called by Thy name, O Lord God of hosts. You know why Jeremiah was the way he was? Because he said he ate the Word of God. Yeah. He read it. He read it every single day. He applied it to our his life. Amen? Listen, if you'll take the book, and if you'll read it, and if you'll study it, it'll mature you as a Christian. Yeah, that's right. Amen. It will. It'll mature you. Because Jeremiah said, Thy words were found, and I did eat them. And the Word was unto me the joy and rejoicing. Let me ask you a question also. Do you want joy in your life? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yep. Do you want to rejoice in your life? Get in the book. Right. Get in the book. Because let me tell you something. When you don't read the Word of God, that joy can kind of go away from us, can it? Yeah. I'm a prime example. Listen, hey, listen, I, I, I read the Word of God every day. But there's been times where, hey, listen, I have skipped some, and let me tell you something, it's not good. No, it, it's not good. It makes a difference in your life. The Word of God will make a difference. It'll mature you. The Bible says, "Study to show thyself approved." Yeah. Amen. 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 Study to show thyself approved. The Word of God will mature us. The Word is more to us than instructions. It is the nutrition that fuels our life in Christ. It brings us the joy and rejoicing of living more and more like Jesus. 
Thank you. Right. Growing in the Lord develops our appetite for the Word. You know, the more you grow in the in the in the Lord, the more appetite you have for His Word. You ever notice that? Yes, sir. I'll tell you something. You start growing as a Christian, you can't get enough. Amen. Amen. Yep. Gives us an appetite. The appetite will grow to a craving for the Word. Jeremiah was reminding God how he loved His Word. Jeremiah said, I love you, Lord. I love your Word. Let me ask you something tonight in closing. Do you love this book? Do you love the Word of God? Maybe you need to be in it more. Amen? I don't know how God has spoke to your heart tonight. But God has just put this message in my heart. You know what? We got a good book. Yes, sir. Yes, we do. We got a good book. And through this work, this word, you can get saved through this book. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let me ask you a question again. Are you saved tonight? Are you ready for heaven? Do you have any doubts? Do you have any doubts? I'd take care of it. Yeah. Let me, let me say this. You never know when you're going to die. Now let me say this. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm not going to try to scare you into salvation, but I'll say this. If you're not sure and you know you need a Savior, why don't you just do it tonight? Amen? Amen. Amen. You can get saved through this book. You can mature through this book. Why? Because it's profitable. Yeah. What you going through tonight? You going through trials? You going through tribulations? Health problems? Financial problems? Any type of problems? God will help you. Yeah. Just go to Him. Why? Because we have a good God. Every head bowed and every eyes closed.